Well, hello, Facebook. How is everybody out there? It's Jennifer, Independent Sensei Consultant. I know it's been a while since I've been on here, uh, but if you are watching this, go ahead and type replay down below, or if you are watching me live, um, just say that you're here, say hello. So, uh, it has been a while. I know. I'm sorry uh, if you've been following along on my personal profile. You knew that we went to Europe and it was wonderful. We had such a great time. We went to uh, Germany, we went to Rome, we went to Paris, and we're already making plans to go back. So it was a great time. Um, so between like getting ready for that and then coming back, we came back to like this weird snowstorm. Uh, back to Memphis and like we had been traveling for 12 hours, landed on the ground in Memphis and it was literally snowing. Like I was back in Alaska. It was, it was crazy, but it all melted in like a day or two after that. And then time save, what, what is it? Daylight savings. Uh, the time change happened and it just totally screwed us up. So we are back on routine and back on schedule and I will be um, more intentional and hopefully getting on here more often. Um, but summertime is coming and summertime is really busy around this house. So um, I'm really kind of trying to work hard to like get ahead of things and make sure that you guys have something to look at, have somebody to talk to even during the summer months and even when we're out on vacation. If you have any questions for Sensi, always feel free to either send feel free to either send me a message on uh, a messenger or if you have my phone number text me uh, call me email me whatever you want to do uh, just keep in touch we'd love to do that sometimes I can't get on here to, to Facebook or face or uh, do a Facebook live or what have you um, because it's Facebook it's social media it's really kind of time consuming but I'm gonna try to get on here more often again if you are here say hi I'm trying this new setup. I've got like my camera over here. So I'm looking at my camera, but I got like the screen over here. Um, because if I turn like this way to look at the can, it's, it's a, it's a whole thing. Don't, um, anyway, it is Wickless Wednesday and we are going to go over a few things. I am going to show you, um, some of the waxes that, uh, two of the waxes that I am warming in my house, uh, this week and describe them to you. Maybe you might like them and might want to order them. We are also going to talk about uh, Sensi Pods and uh, one of the products or one of the machines, I guess you could call it, that you use with the Sensi Pod. And I'm also going to show you March's with box. It is the last day of March. So if you are watching this and it is after March, unfortunately, you won't be able to order that particular whiff box, but I do encourage you to order other whiff boxes because they're so much fun and they're such a surprise. So Liz, I've got like this random hair that like keeps bothering my my arm and I don't know what it is. Um, and I'm feeling a little lightheaded because I'm on, I've got this new fasting app and like I'm on, I think I'm on like hour 18 I think I'm on hour 18 of fasting right now, and so I'm a little lightheaded, I'm a little kind of woozy, and I probably should eat, but I knew that if I ate, I wouldn't get around to doing this, so I am going to do this, and then I'm going to eat, um, or at least get some, well, let me get some water, because already the talking is getting to me. Anyway, my big old jug of water. Um, Drink your water, everybody. Water Wednesday. Wickless Wednesday. Let's get to our wax. Okay. Cloudberry Dreams. Cloudberry Dreams was one of the, was probably one of the first fragrances that I experienced with uh, with Scentsy. It is super yummy. It is of the fruity family. So if you like fruity fragrances, Cloudberry Dreams is going to be for you. And I am going to pull up Cloudberry Dreams here and give you the description of it. Um, like I said, it's fruity. So I don't have it. I, I don't like fruity smells in my bedroom. I don't mind them so much in the kitchen um, or in the living room during, you know, like summer and springy months because it is, 
It is a pretty smell, but it is fruity. So it is described as a sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through a billowing bursts of peach and vanilla. Um, again, a little bit of the vanilla, not so much vanilla, but you definitely get the raspberry and the peach out of Cloudberry Dreams. Let's see, get the lighting right and the focus right. So there you go. It is this pretty little pink color. Uh, my niece has uh, Cloudberry Dreams in a scent pack for her Scentsy Bunny, um, which if you all haven't seen on the website, there's a Koala Scentsy Bunny that was just released. Super cute! Uh, but you can get a Cloudberry uh, scent pack to go in him, her, um, and it smells so good. It is a fruity smell. Cloudberry Dreams I have going on, um, I believe, in the living room right now. Blueberry Cheesecake is another favorite. Y'all know uh, if you've been here a while that while I do love food, I am not su a super fan of food fragrances. Blueberry Cheesecake, on the other hand, has changed my mind about food fragrances. Blueberry Cheesecake, uh, when you smell it, in the bar, it's 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 foody smelling, but when you smell it and it's melting, it is it's so good. It does. It's not like it's not like baked goods food smell. It's more like fruity, um, with just like a hint of like I want to eat it. Uh, so that and that's why I don't. I'm not a fan of food fragrances because I smell like I want to eat it and then it just gives me hunger and I'm like okay like banana nut bread and apple pie makes me want to like eat banana nut bread and apple pie and probably not the healthiest thing for you um but blueberry cheesecake is that nice balance between I can stand it in a room and it's not going to make me hungry but it smells nice and reminds me of food smells nice comforting food smells so let's pull up blueberry cheesecake and see how we describe blueberry cheesecake. Searching. Here we go. Blueberry cheesecake. Scentsy Bar is thick, rich New York cheesecake with a light graham cracker crust and delicious blueberries. Um, it is in this white color, but it has like a purple kind of violet um, sticker on the front of it. Um, it is a favorite for springtime because again, it's it's like fruity, but it's not like in your face fruity. Like Cloudberry Dreams can kind of be like in your face summer fruity, whereas Blueberry Cheesecake is a little more mellow fruity. So Blueberry Cheesecake I have going on in the dining room because it's a nice spot to kind of like be halfway in the kitchen. So halfway food smells. Um, but this is going on in the in the dining room and I really like it as I walk through there I get a little whiff of blueberry and a little bit of cheesecake and cloudberry drinks both going on in my house today Remember that you can go to the website. Um, it is probably best if y'all uh, bundle and save it They bars are six dollars a piece on their own when you bundle three of them. It comes up to 20 no, it doesn't come up to $29 What's six times three six times three is 18. I think it's let me look so I can make, make sure I give y'all the right pricing. It's been a minute and I'm working on no food for almost 24 hours. So let's see, wax, 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 three, okay. $6 a piece, three for 17 or even better when you buy five of them. So for $30, you, you get one free. So you get six bars for $30. That's the best way, that's the best deal to package up your wax if you're going to get wax. So Cloudberry Dreams, Blueberry Cheesecake, that's what's in the house this Wednesday. Let's see, let's move on to wall fan diffusers. So I got this in a Scentsy haul probably a couple of months ago um, because I don't have any more wall fan diffusers in my house anymore. I gave some away. Um, and I needed another one. So here is this wall fan diffuser. This does not use wax. So there is a whole line of things that don't use wax. I'm going over here to the website again. Under diffusers and oils or fans and fans, purifiers, and pods. 
This is under the wall fan diffuser. I'm gonna open up this box. We're gonna show you what it looks like and how it works. But I do want you all to know that like if you have little kids or pets, um, I know cats, uh, people have a particular problem with wax. The wall fan diffusers and the Sensi Paws are great options other than to replace wax. So let's get into this. This is the star design. This is a wall fan diffuser. And let's get into this. So it comes in a nice little pretty box. As always with all Scentsy products, there's always like this little inspirational like saying there on the box. And this one says, life is about moments. Don't wait for them, create them. And there's a Scentsy mission on the left-hand side, but we open up the box and we have our diffuser in here along with instructions. Um, I have looked at the instructions before, so I'm not really going to go through it, but if you ordered you a wall fan diffuser and aren't quite sure how to use it, there's always really good instructions in like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or seven different languages in there. Um, this is, this is a star and I should have gotten a extension cord but this one doesn't have the light there is one in there that has a light on the bottom and i'm not uh, let me look it up and see which one it is it is a uh, swivel swivel has a light down on the bottom that when you plug it in um the light comes down on the bottom but this one doesn't have one so this is star wall fan diffuser when you when you get it you're going to see that it kind of it comes in like two pieces this is just like the decorative around, the direct decorative surround, I guess. And then this bottom part is where the plug, where you plug it into the wall. Um, you can turn this little plug around, so there's a button down there. So like if you have one of those weird plugs that's like sideways or something, you can turn it. You put you're supposed to like push the button and then I'm turning it the wrong, the wrong way. There you go. So you push the button here. And let me just make sure that y'all can see and it's in focus and everything. But like you, you can turn it that way. You can turn it sideways. You can turn it like some some plugs are like upside down, kind of. So you can turn it, and then you can go back. So we'll just go back. Uh, down here is a fan. Uh, when you plug this into the wall, you put your little pods in here. The little fan will blow, you turn, you turn the power on, there's a light that comes on when you turn it on, and the little fan just like blows air up over the, um, over the pods. So obviously the air comes in here, it goes through the fan, it comes out the other way, pop that on there, and your fragrance comes out top. So wall fan diffusers are used with the Scentsy pods. Hmm. So this is a uh, sea salt and avocado scentsy pod. Pods come in two to a pack. So this is one of my favorite fragrances, sea salt avocado. And in the scentsy pods are, are fragrance beads. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get it up close. I think the lighting and the focus is kind of, but you can kind of see how the fragrance beads are, are working in there. Well, you use uh, the Sensi Pods with your fragrance diffuser. You just pop this, the pods in there. You can do one, you can do two in there, but that's, that's what two looks like. And then you just click the base on, plug it into the wall, turn it on, and it'll blow. Again, this one doesn't have the light, um, but you can use one in there, you can use two in there. Here, I'll show you from the top what it looks like when you use two in there. You can use one. There you go. So the star design is $25 for the, I'm sorry, so star wall fan diffuser is, is $30. Um, the one with the light down on the bottom is $35. Um, there is a new design that just came out. It's a zigzag wall fan diffuser where like this part is gray. So there's also Disney ones, like I'm looking at the Spider-Man one, a Mickey Mouse one. There's also princess ones. Um, so you can get these in a bunch of different designs. They're anywhere from $30 to $40, depending on what design 
you get, just go to the website, Jennifer, let's see, it's jennifer-williams.sensi.us. Make your way over to wall fan diffuser and you'll find all of them there. Oh, let me show you what the top looks like when there's only one in there. Now I will tell you that in my experience with these little pods, all of the Scentsy products have the option to use two pods all at the same time. I have found that the amount of fragrance and the fragrance lasts just as long with one pod as it does with two. Now, in larger spaces, so um, like my bathroom only needed, I only needed to use one pod, but in larger spaces like living rooms or gathering areas, entryways or something, you might want to use two just so that you get more fragrance going out. That doesn't mean that the fragrance is going to last longer. So if you have this on 24 seven, um, the fragrance in these pods are probably going to last you about two or three days. If you have it on 24 seven, you'd be lucky to make it all the way to 48 hours. Um, but uh, you have the option to turn it on and off. So on when you need it, off when you don't need it anymore. Um, but if you're gonna put this in the bathroom, then I would say just use one um, because the fragrance, um, the fragrance distribution, I forget, the fragrance throw is a very strong in the Scentsy pods. But again, they do not last very long if you continuously have them going. Um, but you can turn it again you turn it on and off um, and I am actually going to put one of these in our camper we went camping last weekend and it was our first camping trip of the season so I was excited to open it up clean it up and then I realized I was like I need some Scentsy in here um, so I did what I could with a, with Scentsy Fresh and Counter Clean um, but I am definitely going to put one of these in the um, in the RV just because I don't want wax in there um, you know, when we close it up and we're driving down the road, if the wax is hot, I don't want it spilling all over the place. So this is a great solution for those of you that have RVs out there or those of you that have campers or something. Um, definitely use a plug-in with these pods because they won't spill and the, and the scent throw is incredible in these. So again, this is the Star Wall Fan Diffuser. Go to the website, jennifer-williams at sensi.us. You will find all of the wall fan diffusers anywhere from $30 to $40, depending on what design you want to get. Now let's talk about these Scentsy pods. So I already showed you all that there's fragrance beads in there. They come two to a pack. Each pack is $10. They come in a variety of fragrances. I want to say they come in like almost 20 fragrances. So let me... Let's go on over to pods and let me just guess how many. One, let's say that's four, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight times four. So it comes in like 25 to 30 different fragrances. There are some specials that come up every now and then um, with special fragrances. So like there's a marble fragrance in a Scentsy pod. There's a princess, Disney princess fragrance. Um, there's just special ones that come out every now and then in the Scentsy pod. These are $10 a piece. When you get the Disney ones, they are a little bit more. They're $12 a piece uh, in the Disney ones. Now these are definitely a steal when you bundle them. If you get three of them, you save yourself a dollar. So they're $10 a piece. Three of them cost you $29. But if you get six of them, you get one for free. So six of them, you're gonna pay, should be $50 then, right? Let me just double check because I looked at the numbers before I got on here and I was like, oh, you get one for free, but I just wanna make sure, double check before y'all go call me out on that. All right, so yeah, it's um, it's six for $50. That's, you, you buy five, basically you get one free. So that's a steal if you're gonna go that route with bundle and savings. Um, they go with the wall fan diffusers, they go with the mini fan diffusers, and they go with uh, Scentsy Go. Uh, so I do have a Scentsy Go. I did bring, actually I brought sea salt on avocado with me uh, when we went to Europe. I put it in the Scentsy Go, I tossed it in the luggage. We opened up the luggage when we got to Europe and the whole thing smelled like sea salt avocado. It was fabulous. Um, and then I turned on the Scentsy Go in the room that we were staying in and our friends were like, what is that smell and where is that coming from? I was like, huh, funny you should ask, it is Sea salt and avocado from Scentsy in the Scentsy Go, and it is wonderful, and I encourage you to get some. Uh, but 
anyway, it was it was a great uh, travel um, a travel accessory, I guess, because uh, it just makes your rooms smell nicer uh, and it just makes it your hotel rooms feel a little bit homier. But those are your Scentsy pods. They're great for on the go and when wax is just not making any sense. And the final thing that I wanted to show you all today was March's um, whip box. So let me, let's make sure this is, this is the whip box. And that is, is this March's whip box? I don't think it is. This is the whip box. I'm behind. I'm behind on our whiff boxes, too. This one's heavy. I know. I've got, like, January, February, and March's whiff box here. I need to I need to record and reveal to you all, even though they're kind of, like, you can't get them anymore. Um, but I, I still like seeing what gets comes in the box. Um, if y'all haven't heard about whiff boxes before, oh, by the way, there's a YouTube channel out there. Uh, if you go to YouTube, and uh, I think it's just under Jennifer Williams. It used to be Jennifer Williams Digital, but I think it changed the name last time I was on there. So just look for Jennifer Williams. You could probably even do like Sensi on, on a Google search or on a YouTube search. Um, but I did do December's with Box Reveal on the YouTube channel. Uh, so you can check that out. Um, and do I, I think I might have put Scent of the Month on there. I'm not, I'm not for sure. I don't, I don't think so. I think it's just a with Box video. Um, but I did reveal, I did the whiff box video. So if you don't know about the whiff boxes, you're about to find out. So whiff boxes are $30 a piece and they are a surprise. They change out every month. Nobody knows what's in them until they actually arrive at your door. So you, during the month, uh, whatever your month you're in, you can always go onto the website and order these. They're $30 and you are guaranteed to get more than $30 out of your whiff box and out of the products that are in your whiff box. So let's go ahead and find out what is in March's whiff box. Again, you won't be able to get this if you're watching this after, after March. So you'll get April's whiff box, which nobody knows what's in April's whiff box yet. And I've got to order mine tomorrow and I'm super excited to find out what's in it. So let's open this up. This is a heavy box and it's pretty big, bigger than it normally is. Um, but your whip boxes come and they look like that. Then let me make sure this gets all in the camera there. Then it's got this cute little packaging. Urgh. This thing is heavy to hold. I don't know how long we'll hold this up here like this. Let me make sure that we're getting it. Focus there. So it's got all this little packaging here. So all the whip boxes come with a little bit of literature in there. This one says time for a refresh. And it's got some mermaids. Um, oh, okay, and it gives you some previews of what is in the box as well as some suggestions on how to use it. And the first hint of spring is in bloom and it's time for spring cleaning. Your March Whip box includes an assortment of Scentsy Clean products and amazing fragrances, perfect for rejuvenating your clean routine. We're also getting an exclusive Scentsy Swedish dishcloth that you won't find anywhere else, a cross between a sponge and a towel. This reusable dishcloth is great for cleaning countertops and the other surfaces. I haven't used one of these Swedish dishcloth dish cloths yet, and I'm super excited to try it out. So this is the Scentsy dishcloth that they included in there. Let's see if you guys can. So it's got like little mermen. That guy's got like a hairy chest. That's kind of funny. Um, uh, but I guess I'll try this out. It's like a sponge and a cloth. Um, Swedish di di Swedish dish cloth, reusable biodegradable dish cloth, 70% cellulose and 30% cotton, great for wiping down counters and surfaces, cleaning up spills. Simply rinse or machine wash and air dry. It's made in Germany. We just came from Germany. That's cool. All right, so we get that little thing. You can't buy this in the store. These, th these kinds of things only come in with boxes. So let's see what we, we have some dish soap. So we have dish soap, di I can't say dish with any other word today. Dish soap in Cloudberry Dreams. I have used the dish soap before. 
I am a Dawn girl, so I still have a bottle of Dawn sitting on the counter, but every now and then, and in the camper, I will use uh, the Scentsy dish soap. It is pretty good. Um, it's not, it's not Dawn, and it's not power wash Dawn. I mean, that stuff's amazing, right? Um, but it is good. It does smell very pretty, and um, yeah, so if I, I just use the dish soap kind of every now and then when I want a little, like, push of fragrance. Um, but we get the dish soap, and I'll look up the retail values of all of these things, and then we'll add them up here in a little bit. But Bathroom cleaner in Coastal Sunset. So I smelled Coastal Sunset in a little sample. It's so pretty. And this is bathroom cleaner. So uh, Coastal Sunset is kind of like, it is kind of oceany and kind of um, coastal. But it also has a little bit of like a like a mellow kind of like a manly kind of I don't want to say musk because I don't think it's musk that's in there, um, but it is it's not like ocean in your face ocean smell. It is um, it is pretty mild. A coastal sunset in a bathroom cleaner. So I have actually not used a bathroom cleaner before, but it's one of those you just like spray and you leave it and then you rinse it or you wipe it and it cleans. So um, I'm eager to try this. I'll probably do this in like the kiddos bathroom and stuff. And maybe even in my shower stall. So my shower stall is all like tile and I'm having a hard time figuring out how to keep that tile clean and not getting like stinky and musty and all of that. So we'll try the bathroom cleaner. I'll let you all know how it works. And we also have counter clean. I love me some counter clean. So though I don't use the dish soap very often, I use counter clean every single day in my kitchen to wipe down the counters. It smells amazing and it also like it makes your counters like smooth and soft and um you know with marble counters or granite or whatever that material is called. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um I used to use like a bleach or a, um, like a bleach spray or um, even like a 409 or something and it was always like like it was pity and it was um, it, I wasn't streaky it was like it wasn't I don't know this stuff is like it makes it kind of soft and it's easier to clean for some reason some people say that like counter clean repels the dirt or it actually says on here that it, it like builds a barrier and it repels dirt or whatever but I noticed that when I started using it on my counters within like a couple weeks my counters were just easier to clean it was easier to wipe up I didn't have to like put so much elbow grease on it um, but this is counter clean and make a splash make a splash I think is um, it is kind of aquatic and um, and fresh smelling um, but I already have like two bottles and I'm trying to get of counter clean that I'm trying to get through. So this might be a free gift somewhere down the line. Uh, let me know if you want to try out some counter clean. I'll send you a sample of some counter clean. And then finally, it looks like the last thing we got in our box. Put this box down because it's kind of big and heavy. The last thing we got in our box was the scent of the month for March. And it is Hey Tiger Lily. I actually got a couple bars of Hey Tiger, Tiger Lily earlier in the month, and I started warming them when we got back from Europe, and it's really nice. It's like, it's floral, and it's got some orange to it. Um, and I, I guess I'll pull up the description here for Tiger Lily. Move all of this stuff with my keyboard. But yeah, orange and... Oh, it's, it's just very spring smelling. So this is Weiger. Weiger. I'm going to eat after this, y'all. <laughs> Wild Tiger Lily perks up sugared mandarin and luminous jasmine on a bright and beautiful sunny day. Very nice. I will probably be adding this to my Sensei Club. So I get some more of this. I am enjoying this as a spring fragrance, and I'm probably going to love it all through summertime and probably through the fall um, because it's got that kind of that orange in it. Um, but this is this one is very nice. So let's recap this one right now because it's March's scent of the month. It is 10% off right now. Um, so it's going for $5.40, normal price. We're gonna price this out normal price because 
let's just say it was normal price. Six dollars, it's only a difference of 60 cents, right? So a bar of wax is six dollars. Counter clean, I believe it's 12 or 18. Counter clean is, no, it's actually cheaper than I thought. It's ten dollars. So six dollars, ten dollars, we're up to 16 for counter clean in the bar. The dish so is Dish soap is ten dollars. Another ten dollars. So we got ten. We got twenty. So we're up to twenty-six dollars now, right? Ten dollars for the dish soap. Ten dollars for the counter clean. Six dollars for the bar of wax. And the bathroom cleaner is um, it's not finding bathroom. It's eight dollars. So 26 plus eight, that's $34. So we paid $30 for the box. It came as a surprise. We're getting $34 worth of product plus this cute little Swedish dish cloth, which I don't know how much these are, um, but I think online, they're not too, they're not too expensive. They're like a buck or two online. Um, I haven't tried it out, so I'm not sure about the quality of it, but I'm assuming it's pretty good quality. So let's go with $2. So you're looking at $40 worth of stuff for 30 bucks in the width box. Again, they come as a surprise. I can't hold all these things up. I'm gonna try. You're gonna watch me try. Watch me try to hold all of these up. That's the dishcloth. That's the bar. There it is. All of this we got for $30, $40 value out of the width box and that's for March. April, stay tuned, and I will reveal April, but I usually like to wait to the end of the month just because we want it to be a surprise like it's supposed to be. Um, but if you ordered a March wick box, that's what you're getting. Next month, you can order the April one, and if you are going to get it before I can reveal it, keep it a secret, but I'd love to know what you got in it. Anyway, I hope everybody is doing great out there. Let me just double check, make sure we don't have any questions, any comments. Um, again, if you are watching this on replay, I would really appreciate if you just typed replay down below. It just bumps it on up the feed and helps everybody see what was in March with, March's with box. Um, I gave you my descriptions of Cloudberry Dreams, Blueberry Cheesecake. We talked about pods and the Star Wallfan Diffuser. I hope everybody's doing great out there. My plan is to be back on here next Wednesday for another Wickless Wednesday when I will show you what's going on in Sensi World. Again, take care, you guys, and we'll see you next Wednesday.